just as in case of debtors we try and calculate the amount paid to debtors by preparing two accounts that is bills receivable and debtors account similarly in case of creditors we will have to calculate the amount paid to creditors this can be done by preparing these two accounts simultaneously that is bills payable account and total creditors account so now students the opening balance of bills payable account will appear on the credit side since it is a liability so we'll have by balance brought down that is opening balance then we'll have two balance carried down which is closing balance then students the first entry on the debit side would be cash or bank which is amount paid then students it would be to discount received on account of any payment made for bills payable remember the journal entry for both of them would be bills payable to cash since the payment has been made for discount it would be bills payable to cash to discount received the total of the debit side would be done from this credit side would be subtracted and we'll get balance which would be written as by creditors this is balancing figure which represents the amount of bills payable issued by us to the creditors during the year remember this balancing figure would then be transferred to creditors account again coming to creditors account since it is a liability it will have credit balance by balance brought down that is opening balance then we have two balance carried down closing balance this entry which was appearing on the credit side of bills receivable would be transferred to the debit side of creditors to bills payable account and this is from this particular account besides this the entry would be to cash or bank that is amount paid payment made to creditors the general entry for this is actually creditors to cash or creditors to bank so it appears here then to purchase return since purchase return leads to a reduction in the amount payable to creditors it appears here then we have to discount received all these entries have been made here again let us find the balancing figure which will appear on the credit side this would be by credit purchases balancing figure now students this credit purchases can be subtracted from total purchases if they are given in the question to calculate cash purchases either way you can have credit purchases given to you in the question if this is given then we will have cash or bank normally as the balancing figure and this cash represents the amount paid to creditors during the year let us understand this point by taking or by understanding the following example 